Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I am using the Rhino Ready stamp set. This is an online exclusive bundle um, that you can find on the Stampin' Up! website. It's not in any catalogs, um, but it is available online and it's so cute. I love these little rhinos. I've got two other projects on my blog. Um, three, uh, three other projects actually. <clears throat> so if you would like to check them out, click the link here on YouTube to hop over to my blog. All right, let's start off with our stamping. I'm gonna make my little rhino kind of a light color. Um, I have colored him many different ways, as you'll see on my blog. Um, and this way, I just wanted to kind of keep him light. So I'm gonna stamp him in Memento Black. And then I'm gonna get my Stampin' Blends and a color lifter. Um, the color lifter is designed to remove color, but I have also found that it really spreads color out um, well as well. All right, I'm gonna take my light and I'm just gonna go around the edges very carefully, kind of just outlining the black lines. And I'm gonna just kind of work in sections. I'm gonna do the bottom part of his body first and then we'll do his head. So now take your color lifter and just kind of pull that color out to the middle and get it to blend. Now I have two color lifters over here because one of my color lifters is almost dry. I think, well, I don't know, this one looks pretty good. Okay, so now, and give it some time because it'll work as you as you leave it sitting there, it'll work. But I'm gonna pull more of that color towards the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna take the same light smoky slate and outline the rest of him. His little ears, I'm basically just gonna color in because they're so narrow. There we go. And grab that color lifter and pull that color towards the middle. And now you can see those colors have bled out and just kind of given him a light look. All right, I'm gonna take my light and color his horn. Now I know his horn is supposed to be white, but because his body is so light, I'm just gonna color it that dark color. I'm also gonna color his little toenails like that, and his tail. Now I'm gonna give it a minute because I want it to completely dry, that color lifter, and then we'll add some of the, the cheeks on there. Um, we're gonna stamp the sentiment in, and it looks like I used soft suede, but I forgot it. So we'll just use our Memento Black right there. We're also gonna stamp the grasses three times here on Soft Seafoam. Now I'm using Soft Seafoam cardstock and Pear Pizzazz ink. We just found out that Pear Pizzazz is retiring. It's a nice soft green, not as soft as Soft Seafoam, and not as dark as Old Olive. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, and I really like it. But it's leaving us, so if you like it, make sure you grab it before it's gone. Now, ahead of time, I have already done some of our die cutting. So I'll set that aside. We'll bring over the cut and emboss machine and line these dies up and we'll get them cut out. All right, so now for this little guy, get that die. You wanna make sure you look at his toes and his ears and make sure they're centered perfectly. You can color the Rhino in with Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends if you'd like. You could use watercolor pencils. You can use a blender pen, a watercolor brush, lots of options. You could even stamp him on gray cardstock and not color him at all. That's always an easy option. All right, I'm gonna run these through, get these cut out, and then we'll start putting our card together. All right, to start, I have a Pale Papaya card base, another retiring color. Super sad about this one, but we knew this one was coming because it's an end color. 
And I'm using this Desert uh, Designer Series paper, Delicate Desert, I believe. There's a free PDF on my blog with a supply list and measurements if you need it. Okay, so I've cut out a crumb cake tailor-made tag. And I have cut out two soft suede tree branches. Um, on the back of these branches, you'll notice I've put adhesive sheets. That's going to help me adhere those a lot easier than trying to use my liquid glue. I'm going to start with my grasses. And we're going to put those down towards the bottom. So I'm going to kind of tuck that one back there like that. And then I'm going to take this other one. Notice how I put the dimensionals towards the bottom so that I could slide things behind like that. All right, let's start with our smaller tree trunks. I think I might have called them branches, but they're the tree, the bottoms of the trees. Let's see if I can get that peeled off. I have, I don't have long nails anymore, so it's making it a little bit difficult. All right, tuck that in. When you use an adhesive sheet, you have to put it on your cardstock before you start cutting. Um, it then turns your piece into a sticker, which is just so fabulous. All right, I'm gonna tuck that one in about right there. They're gonna overlap a little bit. And then I have cut out the tops of the trees in um, again, pear pizzazz. And we'll put this one right here with a dimensional. And this one up here with a dimensional. Let's see, like that. All right, and now for our little cute guy. Oh, let's add his cheeks now that he's had time to dry. I'm going to use um, just light um petal pink and add those little cheeks to him and then we will put him or her maybe it's a her right there now for our for the sentiment i use one of our smallest um stylus shape banner dies to cut that out Okay, now let's add some embellishments. I've got early espresso ribbon and old olive ribbon. And I'm gonna take my early espresso ribbon, I'm gonna feed it through there like that. And then we're gonna get our old olive ribbon and we're gonna tie it together. Like this. And you kind of have to wiggle it around, get it straight, then pull. If you hold that knot in the middle, you can pull those loops to get it just the right size that you want. And then we're going to shorten these so that they don't stick up above our card. All right, separate them like that. And now we'll just add it to our card. This designer series paper, I thought kind of looked like the deserty background of the Saharan where you might find some rhinoceroses. Rhinoceroses? Or is it rhinoceri? <laughs> Who knows? But whatever, he's really cute. And we've got a really fun card. And there you go. Now, if that sentiment doesn't work for you, change it up. Use something else that's it that you have in your stash or use something else from the, the set. Um, there are several great sayings there in the, the Rhino Ready set um, that gives you lots of options. All right, there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this card. Let me know if you have questions. Please visit, click the link and visit my blog and check out my other Rhino Ready projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.